Uh, anyway, let's take a live look. This is our Fort Worth camera, and you can see the clouds. They've been around all day, in and out, 79 degrees, high dew points. We've had a few showers even move across the Metroplex. I'm going to roll it six hours, and you can see this wave that came by. Let me run it again, and you can see there was some rain and even a few thunderstorms that moved across parts of Dallas County. But all this is starting to wane, though. We'll look a little bit closer in into Fort Worth, up into Denton. Roanoke, you see a few showers here that will be making its way off to the east. They're moving pretty quick. They're moving about 15 miles an hour. Over at Sulphur Springs, we're seeing a little bit, maybe a lightning strike or two on either side of that, a rumble thunder, but nothing severe over there, and all this will be dying down over here in the next couple of hours. This is where the real activity is. A tornado warning now out by Childress, a tornado watch, but we're not threatened by this activity today. We're threatened by this dry line that's further down to the south of it, because that dry line could trigger a few thunderstorms here in the next couple of hours, and we're going to watch them form out to our west and then try to move towards our western counties. Now, now, the reason we're talking about this is that there's thunderstorms. There's not going to be great coverage, but they could be rather powerful. It looks like uh, their big threats will be large hail and uh, maybe even some strong wind gusts with these as well. We'll keep an eye on them as they develop and move towards us, though they're not expected to meet into the Metroplex. Let me show you this. This is one of our models, our short range models. It's kind of overplaying the convection here across the Metroplex, but the dry line, you can see it makes it very active. And then as we get towards the end of the day, now we're running up to seven. You can see we'll start seeing these thunderstorms develop and make their way across our western county. So maybe getting even into Erath County, up towards Mineral Wells and towards Jack County before they dissipate from the lack of heating as they get later in the evening. They'll die off. But they'll stay west of the Metroplex. We'll wake up tomorrow morning and see some activity rolling towards us as well. It could be some strong thunderstorms to our southwest. But we'll wait for the dry line tomorrow because the dry line, where it sets up, it looks like along the 35 corridor to the east of it. This is where we expect some strong thunderstorms in the afternoon tomorrow. This could be going on all the way until we close the day and get into the evening hours. The main threat from these thunderstorms will be large hail and damaging winds. We'll keep an eye on it. We have the thunderstorms tomorrow. Then we are clearing out on Friday, 80 degrees and a breezy day with a north wind. And then on Saturday, we start with a south wind and start warming up again. So again, tomorrow in the afternoon, from Dallas Fort Worth to the east. That's what we're looking for strong thunderstorms. And then as we get into the weekend, it's looking nice. Mother's Day actually on Sunday, not Monday, but we will have uh, temperatures near 90 degrees. Scattered afternoon thunderstorms next work week. Hey,